Hi, I'm Ravant. This is part 8 of a web services video series. In this session, we will discuss timeout exception in web service. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are what is timeout exception in web service, how to explicitly define sending and receiving time in a client application, how to set session state timeout, how to set HTTP runtime execution timeout. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched part 5, part 6, part 7 of this video series, I recommend to watch before proceeding this video. In part 5, I have discussed web services description language. In part 6, I have discussed creating proxy. In part 7, I have discussed session state in web service. Timeout exception in web service. If the web service response time is more than the client request, it leads to timeout exception. Suppose in web service database transaction is going on for a long time, client waits for the web service response. But in case web service does not give its response for the client request in time, this timeout exception occurs. Like uh, the operation has timed out. So, how to handle this type of a timeout exception in web service? Handling timeout exception. There are two approaches to handle timeout exception. First approach is using try and catch block. Second approach is explicitly define the request and response time from the client application. Let's will look in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Click on file new website select a template has visual c sharp D framework has your .NET 4.5 select asp.net empty website rename the project has web service timeout let's click on ok button once the project is created right click on the project click on add Add new item, select web services, rename has a timeout service, click on add button. This is the web service. When we call this hello world method, we need to get timeout exception. Let's write system dot threading dot thread dot sleep. We will discuss more detailly what is threading in later video session. For now understand threading makes uh, the execution process to sleep for 60,000 seconds which is equal to 1 minute. Now let's create client application and consume this web service. Let's flip to visual studio. Click on file new website select language template has visual c sharp framework has a .NET 4.5 select asp.net empty website rename the project has client web service timeout click on ok button once the project is created, right click on the project, click on add, add new item, select web forms, click on add button. Now right click on the project, click on add service reference. Before that run web service, right click on the timeout service.asmx, view in browser. Copy this URL, paste here and click on go button. You can see hello world method, click on ok button. That will create a client proxy. Now let's create the UI section, table 
format the style with font family as Arial TR one TD. Let's copy this. Create one more. Take button. And label. Rename the ID as BTM. BTN timeout. Text as get response. LBL. response make the text as empty now create event handler for the button on click equal to create new event handler now create service call service reference one dot timeout service soap client client equal to new service reference one dot soap client client dot hello world which returns string value that is assigned to a label response dot text build the solution now run the application now click on get response button which takes for a while to get the response from the web service so this is what we have expected the operation has timed out this is because the client has requested the web service but the web service taken a long time to deliver its response to the client in the meantime the client receives this timeout exception so without handling this uh, timeout exception in the client or uh, web service it leads to the users misunderstand what this error means handling uh, timeout exception is very important in in this scenario let's flip to visual studio now let's go with uh, approach one has a try and catch block system dot timeout exception occurred let's build the solution and press control f5 to run the project now click on get response so we get this response has a response timeout occurred so this is very meaningful to the users second approach is increasing the sending and receiving timeout in a web.config let's remove this try and catch let's format this control k and control d click on web.config system.service model binding click on 
send a timeout equal to ten minutes and receive timeout equal to ten minutes. Now let's build the solution. Press Control F5 to run the project. Click on Get Response button. So we get the response as Hello World. We can also set execution timeout as execution timeout equal to thousand and we can also set session state uh, timeout for sessions session ti uh, state timeout equal to thousand in next tutorial we will discuss what is method overloading in web service thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you